Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from the channel Red Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And today I am joined by two of my good friends and we're going to be reviewing a fragrance by the company Bond Number no. 9. This one is called New Harlem, so stay tuned. To my right, we have the tried and true. You guys have seen this gentleman on my channel Hola. before. How are you, everyone? <laughs> Carlos from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. And my good friend Gary here actually has his own channel now, which I'm going to okay. link down below. And what's your channel's name? No Nonsense. No Nonsense. Hi, everybody. I love that, dude. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, today we're going to be doing a staple in Fragcom. This is a fragrance that's been talked about for a lot. And um, it goes by the name New Harlem. And it has a reputation for smelling like something. We're not going to tell you just what yet. Um, but it was released in 2003. The perfumer for this is Maurice Roussel, who has done many other staple fragrances, mm -hmm. Musk Ravageur being yeah. one of them, and a few for Lolita Limpica, some of the sweeter ones. And he He's is got a long list of... Super, super <laughs> impressive, especially when it comes to his gourmands. He really knows what he's doing. And this one has notes of coffee, lavender, amber, patchouli, some sweet notes in there, possibly vanilla. And I guess I'll start with one of you gentlemen. So maybe Gary, what do you think of this one? Um, I definitely get what everybody's gonna say about it is it's got a pancake syrup vibe to it. Yeah. Um, it also, I believe it also lists some green notes in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get some of that. And basically just a pancake syrup and some amber. Um, not my favorite from the house. Okay. Now I think the reason why Gary didn't like wearing it is similar to why you don't like wearing it. It's exactly the same reason. I don't, I'm that guy who, if I get a little bit of pancake syrup when I eat pancakes mm -hmm. in the morning, I smell it for the rest of the day yes. and, I, and I can't wash <laughs> yeah. it off my thin hands and it's like the worst. I really don't, I really don't like it. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of Bond Number no. 9. I am. Mm -hmm. I, I love a lot of them. Never yeah. loved this one. Just didn't really? do it for me. I love sweet and gourmand fragrances. This just was way over the top sweet. I get the lavender. It's got kind of like an amen kind of minute mm -hmm. for, for a bit. But then that, that syrup comes in and just takes the whole fragrance it's, over. It becomes overwhelming. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I would not <laughs> want to smell like that all day long. And no offense to those who love it. I know this is a story from the lineup, but not for me. Yeah. Me not like it. It's so funny because this fragrance really does play trick on, on your mind. Uh, you have the feeling that you are covered in maple syrup. Yeah. which is, I guess, not true for everyone. I'm sure there are people out there who love it and they wear it all the time. But whenever I smell it, I just get the feeling that I'm shrouded in maple syrup, which leaves me feeling kind of sticky. I know it sounds weird, um, but it is a psychological thing. The coffee comes through. Coffee I definitely think. comes through. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's a bunch of um, very sweet and robust notes. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a beast if that's what you're looking for. It is a gourmand in more ways than one. One in the literal sense that it smells like something you would eat, a.k.a. Right now, syrup. that spray just smells really nice. That yeah, I like. The initial spray. Yeah. yeah. But then it, it just on skin, it, it, like you said, it, it has that effect. It goes swimming. all into my mind, yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I love that reference. Um, but um, this one, along with Musk Ravageur, are two fragrances where Maurice Roussel really throws a curveball in there. I know a lot of people love the gourmand aspect of this and they said to themselves, why would he throw in lavender? It's such a stark contrast to the sweet ingredients of the fragrance. Same thing can be said for Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall, where it's all sweet and then he threw in the note of clove mm -hmm. and it just offsets everything. So it's interesting how he'll make the perfect gourmand fragrance and then he'll throw in a curveball just straight out of left field. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I really like this one. I've um, gone through a lot of the bottle. Yeah. yeah, I have worn a lot of this actually, and I quite enjoy it. But from my discoveries and what I've read online, there's a note called Immortel, which is oh, a that's flower. It. And that's what gives it that sweet yes. smell. Okay. For the same reason I don't like this, I don't like Dior. Au Noir. Uh, Au Noir. Same, same it, reason. It's, it's the Immortel, it smells maple syrupy. Because mm -hmm. there's not a maple syrup known in this, it's the Immortel. No. Correct. Yeah, okay. Correct. Yeah. And of course, a perfumer never discloses all of his or her secrets, but that's definitely what's found in here. And um, in contrast to what you guys were saying, this was actually one of my first bonds. Okay. And I know you never got around to it, you weren't crazy about it, but... Uh, I never owned it. I have a million samples. Um, they're, I have they're a bunch of very generous with, with the... I don't no, know. Huh? I have around 13 bonds. Not that wow. <laughs> I'm right about the same. 
And this is a 50 ml, so it looks like I've worn a lot, but it just gets narrow yeah. toward the middle and it's a smaller okay. size. But um, So this is a fragrance that I like, but I just don't wear it that often. So even though I personally, I love the scent, I think it's a cool scent. I just don't wear it that often for that reason, is that people will smell it and mistake it for being something other than what it is. So, uh, so you're going to think you have long breath. Yeah. Did you spill your breakfast all over yourself, Mr. G, today? It's happened. Yeah, it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's it. That was our review on Bond Number no. 9's Mew Harlem. I'm curious to know, uh, have you tried this fragrance? I know a lot of people have been talking about it online. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as these gentlemen's channels. I'm going to leave a link down below to that as well. Remember to enable notifications so you never miss any content. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.